Greetings everyone and welcome back. Today we have some resin and rotocast figures from Deadly Delivery and a little bit later we'll even take a look at a little Safubi from Splurt. First off, Deadly Delivery, a incredible operation by Retroband, Vilesaur, and The Last Zectron. They're all together in this cool collaborative effort to make these awesome resin horror creepy ghoulish themed toys um, some based on horror movies some original and we have a, a, a good range of things here today to look at uh, this was from their last drop that they did um, every other Saturday or like every couple other Saturdays or something like that they will do a release a deadly delivery release and they'll have um, these Maba style minifigures. Sometimes they'll have these rotocast heads. But yeah, I thought it would be cool to, to you know, because I had just gotten these in the mail, so I figured it would be cool to do like a little a mini episode, a, a, a mini vinyl variations episode with very little vinyl in it. But the craftsmanship and the artistry that goes into these are second to none in our little scene that we have. So let's actually take a look at Molisar first because I actually already opened him. Um, let's take a look at Molisar's card. Each one of these retro band figures, uh, sorry my mistake, deadly delivery figures are going to have a little cool kind of cutout thing like you'd find in, you know, the, the creep show comic book uh, kind of aesthetic or the, e uh, the EC comics kind of aesthetic as well even with the like the printing and everything it has it definitely invokes that that kind of feel so that's pretty cool uh, uh it, the idea behind it is this is that there there's like this deadly delivery character um that will that will deliver you these um monsters and creatures um and and this is like the bio that you can cut out and order you know the 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 creature from straight out of the keep and right into your pocket having problems with nazis in your neighborhood molasar will keep you safe and turn your enemies into charred piles of human ash he can also cure random diseases Deadly delivery bringing all your tangerine dreams to life. Warning, if you piss him off, he'll give you back disease and probably kill all your friends too. That's great. Um, and the little last, the last Zectron tag handle on there. So definitely go follow the last Zectron. Um, he's a extremely talented sculptor and uh, to independent toy artist as well. So definitely go check him out. So here is our Molasar figure. I probably should have a stand for these, shouldn't I? Here's a, a big brick. And Molasar is extremely cool looking and well sculpted. So the, in the movie, th I neglected to bring up any of this before I read off the card or anything. Uh, Molasar is from the Michael Mann uh, movie called The Keep, uh, starring Ian McKellen, um, where there's this kind of, it, it's a keep, it's like a big stone temple underground half not underground sort of situation and there's uh inside of it is this force and molasar is kind of the the thing inside of it and uh wouldn't you know the, the them dang pesky nazis come and uh try and take the power for themselves but then uh molasar be laying the smack down on him so this is uh molasar's second form and i would say uh, that this is probably his more popular form I think because in the in the film he's got these glowing red eyes and in the in the light is coming out of his mouth and everything and he looks like super gnarly um, apparently apocalypse from x-men was inspired by this dude uh, from the keep but I also wanted to show off that deadly delivery uh, a couple weeks prior to this release did um, the final version of when he has all of his skin and I thought that that it would be pretty cool to look at them both together And on the back it has a Z um, for Zectron uh, The sculpt each one of the sculptors like to mark their work Their each figure that they worked on in the deadly delivery series so fitting and they should just and this is one of the first times that deadly delivery has uh, gone back and changed like a minor thing or like or or reworked ahead or something like that on a sculpt before so that's this is kind of like a first for 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 the series okay now we're going to take a look at drac bat drac bat here is a original character 
um, of the Deadly Delivery line. Also has another cool bio, same kind of feeling as the other, as all the other ones. Drakbat, second figure from Retroband's line of terror toys, a new aggressive species of vampire found in the southern border, known to be burrowers to protect themselves from daylight. Victims have been known to be mauled to death rather than bitten. Caution, stick to the road and be cautious of soft land. The idea behind Drakbat is that they're kind of uh, in, in, in Texas somewhere, and it's funny because Deadly Delivery and uh, Retroband um, himself, the one who sculpted this, and the, kind of the leader of Deadly Delivery, if you will, uh, he is he lives in Texas. So uh, these these drac bats, this new species, is is lurking around um, somewhere, and that, so that's pretty cool. So let's actually open him up, and we'll take a look at him. And I'm excited because this is from from the three of the of this past drop, I was probably the most excited for this one. And we have Drakbat out of his prison, his little plastic bag prison. And how cool. Oh, man. I, the, the, the sculpts on these are always incredibly well done and absolutely killer. And the colors are always really well done as well. But it, 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 never, it never gets old. It, you know, I think that it's fun to, to buy these you know, every couple weeks and to, to, to expand the collection. There's so many I still don't have. There's so, and, and I've been like, and I jumped on since the very beginning. Um, I've got some of the very first Deadly Delivery figures, but, you know, I missed some here and there. They've become extremely popular within um, the horror toy community, the, the resin community, the vinyl community. It kind of transcends all of them. So if you're, if you're a fan of this sort of stuff, definitely follow the Deadly Delivery um, Instagram if you want to be able to jump on these because they sell out fast that what was really cool about this last run is that they did an open pre-order so that was really cool of them so hopefully they'll they'll be able to do open pre-orders that means that you have to wait a little bit longer for the toy to come for your toys to show up but it, it, I'll wait a little bit longer if that means that I can like get everything that they have to offer um, that that drop that be that that is nice uh, getting into the sculpt a little bit, he's got some awesome, like, a, emaciated, kind of, like, stretched out, torn flesh. Like, this guy is vi is so ravenous. He hasn't eaten in a long time. And he's got the fur furry body. Does look, like he look, does look like he has sculpted pants, though. But that's, so that's pretty cool. A little sculpted pants there. And then on his little cape here, I don't know if you can, you can kind of tell. There's a retro band's mark there. It's a... Uh, Texas with a little skull on there and then on the back of his cape it's, it's sculpted on their terror so that's pretty cool um, the uh, big big old brows are nice a nice touch I like that and I like the big sunken eyes that's really cool and then of course this the slicked back sculpted hair looks really nice too love those those furry arms very cute very cool and I thought it'd be worth putting one of the other original characters next to him. Here's another one of the Deadly Delivery original characters. And they look pretty cool together. Love that we're getting more original characters. And the sculpts, like, as you can see, stuff like this is just insane looking. So crazy. So cool. Lots of detail. Alright, let's move on. Okay, and now we have our horror heads. The, this is the King of Demons Marble Edition. And uh, there was a blue marble, or blue, just a solid blue um, King of Demons head released a uh, like a couple weeks back. But this is the marbled edition, obviously. And it's got this really cool, really nice bubblegum pink with this purplish blue kind of dark indigo marbling into it so it looks really striking and it's like in all the crevices and stuff so that's really it looks really sharp so we're going to open this up this one was also sculpted by uh the last sectron so let's take the head out these these uh heads have been a new addition 
to the Deadly Delivery series, usually it was just the figures, the minifigures. But since then they've uh, expanded into the into the heads, so that's really really cool. A new a new frontier for Deadly Delivery. I didn't get the blue one, so this is a nice this is a nice one to have. There's the Z again, the Zectron, and it's dripping, and so that's cool. And the skull is like really well sculpted. There's all kinds of like bone texturing in there and the teeth are really well done and nice and nice and symmetrical the third eye slash like forehead situation really cool sculpting horns really well done uh, and let's put this head alongside some other ones okay so I wanted to take two of the other heads that I have from this series and put them alongside one another this is like the deadly delivery guy. He's the delivery man. This one was sculpted by Retroband. You got the symbol there on the back. So that's pretty cool. And then we have a Vilesaur sculpted head as well. This one is probably my favorite just because of the amount of detail on there and Vilesaur likes to hide his initials in the, into the sculpt so you see the V and the S there that's really cool missing one ear love the boils and the bubbles and the, everything about this is really cool I actually got this one at, at a designer con last year I'm not crying you're crying here's the trifecta one sculpted by each sculptor. There's a there's a couple more. There's like a King Kong looking sculpt. There's there's a couple other heads that I have yet to to pick up, but uh, hopefully one day they'll I'll be able to get pick some of them up either either through trade or secondhand or whatever. And our last stop on this little mini episode of Vinyl Variations, I got uh, today this morning in the mail. I got little ham bone here. This is ham bone from Splurt. This is the brand new cadaver kid head and arm. Uh, I didn't even bother taking them out of the package yet because I wanted to open them and get the first impressions on this video. Here's the cool header card that Splurt worked out. Here's the back. All of Splurt's info. Also ham bone's name. Looks really cool. So let's take Hambone out. Gentle now, easy. This header card is very thin, so it's very hard to. It's you know, it's gonna get a little ripped. It's gonna happen. And then take, take the guy out. Oh, he's free. Wow. Oh, it's a great matte feel. There's like this right off, right off, right away. I can feel that great matte uh, finish on this guy. Looks really, really good. Feels really good. Uh, so uh, if you're unfamiliar with Splurt, he's got a, a whole series of these cadaver kid figures and all with the same body, but with just different um, heads and arms. And this ham bone, I think this was, I don't think it was the first open colorway, but uh, this is like, this is kind of like the colorway I was waiting for, for ham bone. And super glad I got it. I was actually on my way somewhere and the alarm went off. <laughs> like I get like these little notifications when something I'm looking for. And so I pulled over in my car, and I was like, I gotta get the, I gotta get the, the, the toy, I gotta stop and get the toy. Sure glad I screeched to a halt on the side of the road for this, because it is incredible! It's so cool looking, all the details. Um, so this is a mixture of sprays, hand-painted details, I assume, for, for on the stitches here, and on the eye, looks hand-brushed. And then there's um, rubs. Uh, so, so like a paint rub where you apply paint and then you uh, take it off uh, with a with a um, a cloth or you know something like that. So there's a mul there's some really awesome techniques involved here. 
and it looks really great. Sculpt, so this is the new, so this is the standard Cadaver Kid body sculpt, and then we have the brand new uh, head, and it's so cute, I love it so much. He's just adorable. He's like cr just creepy enough and just cute enough. It's like the perfect harmony. And he's got his little hook hand, which is adorable. And again, just this paint is just out of this world. It's rocking. Joe, great job, brother. You did a kick-ass job on this. Um, but I wanted to compare a little Hambone friend to a couple of the other Cadaver Kids. First, let's look at the regular Cadaver Kid. This is the OG Cadaver Kid. The, um, well, not this run, obviously. Uh, this is a, a marbled. This was uh, an open pre-order from Lulu Bell, I believe is what it was. Uh, yeah, pretty standard cadaver kid, mecha brain cadaver, and this one is custom painted by yours truly, me, video vomit, remember? The guy who does the video. There's a uh, psycho kid, uh, a cyclops. So obviously same bodies here, different heads, different head. This was one of the first times where uh, Joe Splurt um, implemented a new arm. So this is cool. This is one. This I got at um, Five Points Festival, 2018, 20, 2018 I think. Love this one. This is a one-off that Joe did. Really, 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 really cool. Just the sprays on there. Again, hand painted details. And then finally, this last one. This is another new one. Hard to see the sculpt. It's actually kind of tilt them up to the light. There you go. Behind the scenes video. So you can kind of see that sculpt a little bit better. But crazy head and a new mecha arm. I have a, f a couple more cadavers, blanks, and whatever, but I just wanted to get a range of the different sculpts uh, in there. And they all look so cute together. I love them all so much. A little happy cadaver kid family here at the Cadaver Kid Orphanage. I really like Hambone. He is incredibly well done, incredibly painted. This is just a knock out of the park. I don't know what I'm saying. This is an incredible figure. Uh, if, if Joe ever does another run of Hambone in the future, I would definitely um, try and get on that. Follow Joe on Instagram at Splurt, and that's with, uh, with two R's. So, so remember that. Don't sleep on Splurt. If you're a vinyl fan, um, if you're a Safubi collector, there's a good chance you already know about him. But I got this in the mail today and I got that deadly delivery stuff a little while ago. So I just was like, this would be a fun mini so. So here it was. Hopefully you liked it. Okay, everyone. Until next time, uh, leave a like if you liked it, I guess. Thanks. Bye.